Hey guys, welcome to Randy's Road Life. Beautiful day out here in Arkansas. On my way to Texas. Uh, today's video, obviously, once again, you see the title. The title always gives it away. But first, I'm Randy. Probably already figured that out. Mind the hat. But anyways, please like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, please. It really helps out the channel. And also, share this on the social media platforms for those drivers, oops, who need this content. Also, the content I deal, I do uh, dealing with the gospel of, of Jesus Christ and the word of God and things like that. Uh, please share that too. And also, please be mindful of that. Uh, we don't just do truck driving here. Let's uh, let's cater to the soul and to our Lord, but also to a profession that we want to do for the glory of God. And, uh, you know, we want to do this right and professionally. So what I'm going to show you today is how I calibrate the right way scale. All right, so I'm going to turn this around, guys. Now, actually, before I do that, first what you want to do, right, is you want to get a load, right? If you get a load, you want to go to a scale and get weighed. Now, once you get your scale ticket, uh, if you are, have the app like I do, you can look at it, and if there is no line behind you or someone trying to get in, you can calibrate it right there on the spot. If not, go to a level ground uh, uh, air your, dump your air, and then re-air, okay? And that way, you so you kind of like, it's like a reset almost to do it right. So I've already dumped my air. I've already been loaded, but I was not in the appropriate place to uh, to do this. So uh, today I am. I don't care about the clams hanging out. I just want a forklift. That's twenty-one thousand pounds, brother. <laughs> That was good. That was good. So I, I had dumped my air, aired it back up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pop my my trailer air for a second. I'm gonna release, and then uh, once that goes out, I'm just gonna uh, push the red knob, my trailer knob. Uh, I just felt my trailer, and I'm gonna push it back in. I'm, now I'm gonna go out here. Now what you need is this guy right here. This uh, flathead screwdriver, it's pretty small, you can see that we're going to go over here, I'm going to show you how to do this. I love encounters like that. I'm going to turn this around so you can see. Here it is, this is the mechanical version. You want to, this is pushed in, you want to pull this out. See that? Now that is not correct, right? I'm not over 34, I'm just over 32. So what you want to do is, see this little screw right here? That's what you want to move. So I'm going to put my screwdriver in there and I'm going to turn. There he goes. Very slowly, guys. Very slowly. I 
that's about right. Boom. See there? Just over 32. Uh, just a tick under 32 and a half. And that has me calibrated properly. Now I'm going to push this back in and then close it. And that's how you do it. This is Carricus Transportation. Brand new wall bash trailer. They got several more brand new trailers. I love this trailer, guys. Has lights all down the side of it. They all blink when I hit my, my turn signal. I have two toolboxes on this. And uh, I really like this trailer. I have 20, 20 uh, winches front to back. That's awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yes, I do. I have 20. Uh, let me show you my loads as a added bonus. You can see I chain this. One chain, two binders, guys. That's considered two chains, even though it's one chain, two binders. Uh, see, I have the binder and the chain up there. And I have the slack going across. Did the same thing on the other side. Uh, you can see how I do these things. See the slack. One chain, two binders. One chain, two binders. And this probably illustrates it really nice right here. See that? One chain, two binders. Something across uh, the lifts in the front. Those probably will hold paper or something of that nature. And uh, so, hey guys, this is, if you're gonna do it, do it right. And uh, that's important. Don't do half the job right. Do the whole job right. It's vitally important. And uh, it just it, it just is an emphasis on your integrity. And that's I can't tell you how important that is. You know, and uh, I'm about to roll out, man. I got 11 hours of driving to do, and uh, I'm trying to get to as close to my load as possible tonight. And I'm going to enjoy my Caracas transportation equipment. My beautiful, look at that guy right there. That's Big Bird. Everyone wants to say hi to Big Bird. Hi, Big Bird. All right, Big Bird. He's. He's purring right now, he's humming or whatever. Uh, getting warmed up, getting ready to tackle the heat. Cause it's getting, it's, it's gotta be almost 80 already down here. It's about nine, it's about nine in the morning, maybe nine, 10. Uh, I parked at a Walmart, they were really gracious. So quite a few trucks parked here. And I'm gonna tell you other guys, if you're a truck driver, don't, don't spend all your money at truck stops, man. Cause you're gonna spend half the money in a Walmart than you would do truck stop, for example. I had, to, I had to buy a fan. A fan in a truck stop is like 30 bucks. Come here, you spend 15 bucks. You can even buy a fan for 12 bucks here. You know, I bought the automotive fan that plugs into the outlet. Uh, just go up to the automotive section. Boom, there it is. Shop towels, all that stuff. Man, it's half the cost here, guys. Do not spend your money in these truck stops unless you have to. So with that, remember, peace and love of Christ be with you today forever and always remember he's coming back you know repent and believe that's where it's at guys so until next time deuces